All right, so uh, let's go and install this thing. This is uh, PD Artist or PD Pro Artist Edition version 8, 8.0 that is to be precise. And the name of the file, PD Artist 8 installer, probably the name that uh, of the file that you downloaded after um, purchasing this from our website directly, or maybe you found it on DAS or Renderosity or some other website. <coughs> and um, hopefully you did the right thing and uh, buy yourself a good license. So. Uh, with no further ado, let's double click this. You know, actually, no, let's cancel it. Um, one thing you could do is run it as administrator. So that's one thing we recommend if you have UAC enabled, user account control. Um, there may also be some antivirus programs that prevent you from uh, entering or, or, or installing files into the, uh, the system folders, uh, registering them and that sort of thing. So if you find any problems during the installation, um, maybe you'll want to right click and run as administrator. I will leave this uh, alone and I will just double click it. Okay, so in my case I don't have UAC enabled here on this system so the installation will be a little bit smoother. Um, I'll just click next and the default installation folder where it's gonna go is gonna be on the x86 version of program files. This is a 32-bit program and uh, it finds a subfolder PD artist. Make sure you don't have an earlier version of PD Artist in that folder. Right? You don't want to install this on top of the old version. It's better to uninstall the old version and reboot the system. Make sure the folder is empty if you have to reuse the same folder name. So go navigate to that folder, Program Files x86, and find PD Artist after uninstalling it and see if there's any left files there. Maybe some files that you created there unknowingly or by saving new brushes and media and that sort of things. So uh, make sure it's empty and then you can start installing this. <coughs> or give it a different file name, right? PD Artist 8 for instance, right? You could give it a different folder name and tell it you want to install it in this new folder. At any rate, let's go click next and uh, give it the name that you'd like to have in your menu files. So the menu folder, the start menu folder that is, um, you could, for instance, if you had an earlier version, uh, you could call this explicitly version 8. Again, this is not designed to be compatible with the older versions in the sense of running them at the same time or keeping them at the same time. Likelihood is if you install version 8, you will not want to run version 7. You won't be able to run version 7 anymore or version 6 or whatever the earlier versions were. Now, PD Particles may be an exception that uses a slightly different um, something uh, <laughs> without giving it away. Um, <coughs> but the the experience we've had so far is that because of some changes in some of the OCXs, when you run version 8, you want to run version 8 and that's it. All right, and then so create a desktop icon. Yes, highly recommended. So you have a quick shortcut to launch the program after it's installed. Click next and f install that. And uh, this is a pretty quick installation nowadays because many of the files have been, um, many of the filters that used to make so many files, um, <coughs> many of these filters have been internalized. So it, it goes a little bit faster. Fewer files are included in this distribution. There's one more thing to uh, take care of here, uh, especially if you're on uh, Windows Vista or 7 or soon enough 8. Uh, you'll, you may want to run it as administrator and you can also flag it to run as administrator automatically. So you can set the registry key that will flag this program to run as administrator and also in uh, Windows XP SP2 um, emulation mode or compatibility mode. Uh, we've seen that that's not always necessary, but it certainly in general doesn't hurt. Let's just OK that and then click finish. Now when you have this box checked, that means PD Artist will start right away. And so here you go, and that should be your experience right now. If it fails and it tells you, it complains that it needs elevation, uh, elevation of what? Well, of, of privileges or permissions. So if that's the case, it's that you probably didn't have it run as administrator and UAC intervened, user account control intervened and doesn't allow that other program, the installer program, to launch this program, the PD Artist program. Even though it just installed, it's not permitted to launch it uh, if UAC prevents it. So um, <coughs> what you do at that time is you just go back to your desktop and run it from the shortcut or from the start menu. 
once you've launched it you'll see something like this it might ask you uh, to specify the name of the or the, the size of your default image or your I initial image you can also set that here on the window settings all right this used to be in earlier versions four or five it used to be a files uh, prefs preferences somewhere in there well we've moved this i think since version five into the settings menu under the window menu so settings sub menu and that's where you can see uh, you know how much memory do you use for undo make sure you use the max if you can uh, see which folder has been selected for uh, temporarily holding icons and thumbnails and, and scratch files it's kind of a scratch disk here uh, what you want to do is make sure that points to a folder that actually exists um, especially if you had earlier versions and you uninstalled it and it's no longer pointing to an existing folder that sort of things threading if you are on a uh, multi-core system you'll see here how many threads are enabled for the different um, filters that are enabled that are using the multi-threading and that's all good so one thing you'll want to check here is is this really running the right version you can run you can click here on help menu and then about artist and that should tell you it is artist 8 specifically 8.0 you see this at the end of the version string here we have a 3 point something and then 8.0 that's sort of the PD Pro number um, this is kind of uh, a, a different counter since the start of the Howler and Artist series so that started actually with PD Pro 5 uh, and so you'll see here 8.0 and that was also nicknamed um, Broomhead uh, we are currently in development for the next version that will be based on uh, probably PD Pro 8.1 and um, expect that as an update pretty soon. Alright, so one thing that of course you'll want to try right away is uh, painting with those new foliage particles. You'll see when you when you uh, click the icons here, the, the context bar will change. Actually, it's already default to that. But if you click to other tools, it will change here. So one way to get back to it is to right click also here and you'll see particles. All right, now these are the, the particles that you may already be familiar with from earlier editions. There's now also bristle brushes. We've had them also since version 6 or 7, I believe, in here as shortcuts. But the, the quickest way to really go to the particle brushes of any type is right here. This shortcut here at the top in the uh, context bar, you click that and you'll see the Optipo Sticks uh, settings, which used to have just two and now three since version six or seven I think we added orbicles I think in 7.1 and then uh, foliage was added right here in 8.0 so this is one of the main new features in version 8 and one thing you do when you enable that well you're drawing trees now this is a default tree fairly or, or a bush or you know shrubbery of some sort uh, but you have lots of others you can load so click on the load button here to see the presets and you'll see tropical trees or you know, all sorts of uh, formations of different types you'll see the weed painter that's an interesting one you keep drawing and it kind of attaches one weed to the next um, let's see what else we got here the willow and that one has some branches uh, hanging down there's some stylish uh, presets here let's go erase this and draw the stylish ones kind of little shrubby short bushes and you know the way to use this really is not just by themselves also um, I mean you could sometimes perhaps for a web page decoration draw something like that right I mean you could go to uh, stylish or stem uh, I see a couple of others here that are really nice to use the herbs for instance some of them you know, they make just some really nice little illustration illustrative uh, additions to to your projects but um, <coughs> there, there are a lot of ways to use this also in conjunction with some other existing trees and so one thing that I recommend you do is you, you start with regular brushes and that might be perhaps uh, something like the the uh, the oils here large cover brushes and get something like uh, see where do we have our colors there are some bluish and some other bluish maybe darker so you can do some dark and light blue mix kind of patchy with the with this and a little bit of uh, opacity reduction so more transparency will kind of blur it so to speak here and that will set the blue tone for your background sky 
right a little bit of patchy clouds there too now we're going to uh, we're going to set the tone for let's say brownish color for a little hillside here in the front right and actually behind the hill we should have some branches and trees growing up so what we'll do is we'll get the, the foliage going and perhaps we'll load one of the evergreens let's see what that looks like starting around here yeah there you go some evergreens right there and then perhaps a different setting it's always good to experiment with different ones here <coughs> let's say uh, classic let's get the classic tree here that one grows in different stages and has a bunch of flowers and blooms coming up there all right so now we've done that now we can go switch to a different set of particles and these particles we can go enable them and perhaps preset uh, choose something like the baddie grass the baddie grass and put them in front so that it looks like it's on the hillside and the tree is growing behind the hillside all right and so we do this just drag around and it shoots these particles and this grass it grows it right out of your mouse and there you go maybe you can also load a different setting um, there's pl plenty of others to choose from here uh, windblown grass kind of interesting if you want to have a little bit of a directional change here you can have that also follow the mouse you know particles follow mouse that means it allows you to go the other way you, you draw one way or the other way and so it can it can also take that a little bit into consideration as to which way to grow and so that's a good starting point now um, in the end perhaps we'll want to have some more bushes and trees on the side but more in the front of the hill rather than these guys in the back of the hill so we'll go back to the foliage and in the foliage we'll grab another let's, let's move this over here uh, let's go with another evergreen maybe and try that in the front and actually we don't need to go too much around just one steady drawing will do just fine and something like this something like so i wonder if i have some pine tree or something like that i know i do in the older gen in the first generation of particles let's try the willow there you go some reddish flower on top always good all right and you see this was done in just a few seconds and you know if you like it you want to frame it one more thing you can do image frame your work all right and so what you do is you choose a frame of certain style that you like maybe more modern looking or perhaps more wooden frame there's a couple of color combinations that you'll see here as you uh, scroll through these and perhaps we can even grab something that's kind of a, a wooden color uh, so add some texture to it so let's grab one here like that and then add the foam core add the paper texture uh, and that would be the paper texture on the grayish or the white parts there but here we have the texture also for the wood grain so the the frame itself will be uh, equipped with a little bit of uh, of a paper texture here we can perhaps make this a little bit bigger and invert the frame all sorts of things to try not my favorite I ju I'm just demonstrating features here right so it's reassigning reallocating the memory b m putting the frame around it and voila now no at this point you might want to perhaps add a little bit of lighting effects to it or just print it out and hang it on a wall and make it look like it's got its own wooden frame with it all right well thanks for installing pd artist and have fun drawing and painting and uh, exploring new version 8. Mm -hmm.